Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Gamer 9 and welcome to KSP 1.2, or 1.0.2, um, it's, it's finally out, um, it's actually, it's been out for a while, it's just I haven't made a video on, well, to be honest, this is actually gonna be one of my first, uh, actual, uh, video series, I did a little, uh, series on it like uh, about a year ago i want to say but uh, uh they kind of fell through the cracks and i it just i didn't really get that invested in, invested into it but um but yeah i mean the game is out and uh yeah let's go ahead and start um a new a new game um and i'm gonna and uh, as you can already tell by the name of this video it's gonna be called the Mantis Space Program. There we go. And uh, we're gonna make it. Uh, ch -ch -ch yeah, sure. I mean, you can't really tell from this, but that's supposed to be a, a Mantis. Um, yeah, we're gonna do career mode now. Okay. I, I've done a lot of, uh, kind of gameplay testing and with the mods and stuff, and, you know, and to be honest, with all the mods and stuff, um, that I have on, it's gonna be kind of difficult, um, if I was to go on just, like, hard, just because, uh, like, the buildings cost more, and they just, it would be a lot more grindy, um, I, uh, I, I am gonna do normal, but I am gonna uh, cl uh, click this away. Uh, missing crew responds, and um, really that's it. I'm gonna leave everything how it is. Um, and I was actually debating on rather not to click this off just to make it a little bit more difficult, but in the end, it it would just make me just like grind on uh, for money a little bit more. It's not that expensive, but it does tack on about a, a couple thousand, possibly. If it's like a really expensive tech tree, that could actually get really expensive, especially further down. <coughs> Excuse me, I uh, try not to do that in my videos as much, but oh, it, it's it's just it's always something that I I need to mute my, mute my mic before I do that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this. <coughs> Hello there, Gene. Uh, yes, I got it. Alright. Now, um, the mods I have installed, as you can already probably tell, as uh, some of them, but, uh, okay, I have, uh, uh, KCT, or Kerbal Construction Time, uh, installed, and basically what that does, it, it adds construction time, you know, it's what it says, um, it, it adds, uh, construction time to, uh, for your rockets or space planes, and your research, and also the upgrades on your buildings too. That was also take some time to research. Now, um, now first thing I always do is I always bump up five in research, at least in the beginning, just so research can actually go a little bit more uh, smoother. And I'm gonna put, I'm like I'm depending on whether or not to save two for uh for the SPH, but to be honest, um. I'm not really feeling it, so I'm just gonna give one more point to uh, R and D, one more point to VAP. Now, in rate two, basically what that means is if you uh, if you spend some uh, upgrade points, is um, right. See, right now I can only make one ship of a t one ship at a time. I do believe, and so if you add like say a point on the rate two, um, you can build two ships at a time. But that whatever the uh, PPS uh, build points per second, I think is that what it's called, um, that allows you to, um, uh, you know, to build more faint, you know, more th stuff at once, but it, it goes at a lower time because it could, it costs more to, um, to build something faster at a rate too. Uh, but enough explaining with, uh, K uh, KCT, 
and okay um we got tech life support um I i'm gonna run tech life support now there's another i forget exactly what it is off the top of my head uh, another life support mod but to be honest I, I like I like uh I like this uh the uh, the, uh um oh my god I just had a total brain fart yeah tech life um I really do like it just because um Kerbals can actually die and stuff the only thing is the electrical charge is eh, eh, it's just one of those things but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and um oh yeah actually let's go ahead and I, I almost forgot oh um the other mods um i am running real shoots um the real shoots mod um also uh transfer window planner now to, is that an update oh yeah there is um might have to uh check on that later but um basically uh what this is is it uh you know it plots a transfer transfer window or whenever it's best to transfer but um to be honest, I don't really know. Does oh no. uh oh okay that's huh okay yeah because to be honest I I haven't really played with this as much I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more off camera um but uh but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have that, um, once I get a hang, hang of it, um, it's gonna really help. Um, on top of that, I got, uh, I think this is, yeah, uh, uh, Scatson, or, yeah, it's, you know, basically it's, a. Uh, uh, it's basically, like, more science and more ma and mapping and stuff. Um, also I got Distance, uh, Object Enhancer, because, just, just to make it a little bit, Look a little bit more nice up in space. Uh, um, of course, a Kerber alarm, a Kerber alarm clock. Um, uh, hot and lip. Um, on where is? Oh yeah, configure. Okay, yeah, that, that's it. Um, the rest of the mods I have is barely, uh, is purely, um, is purely just um, well, uh, part part mods. Um, also, another thing, too, is if you notice um, that the tech tree is actually kind of blocked out. Now, this may look normal if you're used to seeing, like, the 9.0 uh, tech tree, but uh, in, for some reason, whenever they released it and uh, and uh, whenever they released the game in full, um, the tech tree did, it was just, like, you can see in the entire tech tree. I personally don't really... I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just... I, I like... It, I downloaded this mod called, uh, I believe, Fog of uh, Science or something, something like that. Uh, Fog of Tech or something like that. Um, I, I will have all the mods, by the way, in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, and also, if I leave out any mods to, I forget to mention here, um, I will definitely have them in the description below. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just I don't know. It just it's really mainly for nostalgia purposes i must say um but yeah um this is going to be a really long ongoing series i must admit um because i'm planning because i'm planning to actually like do everything right and not fail mm -hmm. but um yeah let's go ahead and get some of these contracts now uh the thing about um better go ahead and grab that um no, see the thing with uh, Kerbal uh, construction time. Whoops, um, is that it actually takes time for your uh, for your uh, rockets and stuff to be built, and I'm it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna you know it's gonna be shown to you in a second here. Um, let's first get our pod uh, shoot. Plop that on top of there. Science. Gather all the science. Actually, hold on. And then... One more on the back here. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, this should be it. Alright, I'm gonna call this the uh, Hopper. Not Hopper. Oh no, not not the hopper, sorry, the jumper, yeah. Mantis jumper. I, 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 <laughs> oh god, I'm just having such a brain fart of the name. Alright, save, damn you. Alright, so yeah, this is the Mantis Jumper Mark One. Um, just because I'm gonna I'm gonna run these series and uh and series of rockets, uh, like the Jumper series, and then uh, once I get like um, uh, Mooner uh, flyby, um, and Minmus flybys and stuff, I'm gonna create another like little uh line of rockets and whatnot. So um, but yeah, this is you know the basic rocket. Uh, it's just pretty standard. Um, now, you know, with life support, you know, as we can see, we got three days and whatnot, electricity, uh, two hours, it looks like. Um, we don't have any batteries, so we can prolong that, and plus this is not going to be a particularly long flight anyways. But, um, I also, oh yeah, another thing too, as you probably could already tell, is I got Kerbal Engineer. Um, I basically have that just to kind of do on-the-fly type, um, oh yeah, that I almost forgot to throttle this down just a bit to 80 yeah that, i mean it it doesn't really affect it that much but at least it gives a little bit more burn time actually let's pull that down to 60 or 65 uh yeah the threat right yeah yeah that's still good okay <coughs> all right yeah let's uh go ahead and launch this baby now um as you can see, uh, with uh, KCT, it says build vessel simulate or simulate vessel. Bas basically, what I could do is I could take um, is I could actually take um, this ship and simulate it for a cost of um, you know, it, it's just you can also start in orbit, but uh, and also and put in the uh, in what orbit and whatnot, but uh, it'll put you in it. But I mean that's real. And another thing, actually, about that is, um, is as you can see, I can only choose Kerbin right now. Um, KCT actually brings in with the simulation really good in a sense of um, as making you want to actually send out probes to planets and, or moons and stuff. Is basic, basically, if you have like a probe or a, or a spaceship, I do believe, out um, around... Uh, like say the mun or something, you can simulate the vessel um, um, starting out over the uh, the mun. If you actually had like a probe or something, you could simulate that. And um, yeah, and I I don't know if the cost goes up if it's like say on a different body or whatnot, but I know for sure that the cost actually is determined by how long or how amount to time that you have. Like say if I would want to like just say even go like say. 30 minutes that will bump up the cost of 22 uh, credits or even an hour which is 30 now it does actually get quite expensive once you get into um, um, you know bigger vessels or whatnot but we're not gonna simulate that we're gonna um, whoopsie we're actually gonna build it and um, and you know standard I see that's actually really cheap that's only 4,000 credits and we're gonna get a lot of science also um, from that so let's Go ahead, and you will see that in the it well, it's already yeah, um, that um, and you can also like queue up um multiple ships too, and uh, that actually really does come in helpful uh, later on, especially with tourists. Like um, you can just like sp not exactly speed build, but you know, put like about three or four of the same ship. Um, in, in the queue, provided you know that it's a pretty good flyable, um, uh, you know, sh you know, ship that can actually carry, uh, tourists and stuff. But, um, the reason why I'm going to go in here is, um, it's, it's just for the, um, it's just, it's really just, uh, for, uh, the viewer's sake. I'm going to 
whenever I'm gonna have to time warp, I'm gonna come out to this planet mode, and I'm gonna warp to whatever needs completion. Um, just because if if I was to warp in uh, in in uh, looking at the K uh, uh, K KSP or K oh my god I I can't think of acronyms right now or whatever oh god <laughs> oh my god um yeah K K KSC yeah. Sorry, yeah, KSE, blah. If I was to be at the KSC, you know, this view, um, I would, you know, it would be like, uh, ep ep epilepsy, uh, I can't even fucking say that right. <laughs> it, you know, it would be seizure, it would be seizure prone time, and personally, that does also hurt my eyes, um, a little. I mean, <laughs> not if it's just like, you know, a couple, you know, a couple of days or not, but if it's like twenty days or fifteen days or whatnot, it it just it it's a gets a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> but um, but anyways, yeah, let's warp to the morning and now um, if oh yeah, I for I forgot to roll it out, so warping to the morning is was kind of fruitless. <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, and also another thing too is whenever you actually complete a build. And, um, um, with the KSC, it also gives you some science, too. So, um, that's actually really great. Sometimes, you know, if you, ha if you have, like, say, um, like, say, if I was to got get this science, or, like, say, have, like, um, you know, have, like, 89 science, you know, needed to something to unlock with 90 science. If I complete a build, I could actually unlock the node even before I even got more science because it would give me about, like, say, at least a point of science. It usually gives you around, a, I believe that actually gave us, like, four points of science. But, anyways, enough with my blabbering. Let's get on with uh, launching this thing. Now, um, as you... Um, with, uh, with KCT, you know, you can't exactly just launch ships, so it's you know, brings you to this little menu to actually add, um, you know, whoever you want to fly there. You can't just, like, drag him into the seat, um, and the, and the, uh, uh I, I'm, the fucking, uh, the rocket building thing, uh, I can't remember, I'm just being such a derp right now, but we're gonna bring Jebediah. Um, because, you know, you always have to launch your first mission with Jebediah. I mean, y you just have to. Um, okay. Oh yeah, another thing too is, I love this mod. It's, um, called, uh, Science Alert or something like that. Um, EVA report. Mystery goo. Oh, whoops, I forgot to take data, store, collect, remove, store, oh yeah, it's scientists, yeah. Alright, oh, is that needs updating too? Okay, um, well actually, we don't need you for now, so, oops, alright. Uh, SAS on, and, um, we're actually gonna tilt over to the, uh, left. Oh, yeah, and, um, also, we got, uh, I forget exactly what this mod is, too. Um, I, I forget off the top of my head. I'll probably, like, put annotations or something in the video, but... Oh, shit. I didn't check, check the staging on that. Thank God. But yeah, we should, yeah. And we're definitely gonna get over here. Oh yeah, they give you little, little side contracts too. Um, okay, yeah. Kerbal flight indicators. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's what it is. I also have Kerbal Flight Data, um, 
Gats in. Yeah. I don't know why I actually. Oh, yeah. I, I. I was just playing around trying to get these two. Oh, my God. I. Yeah, see, one thing with. Um, I may actually may have to. I, you, you're you not seeing this in the video, but. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I realized I was kind of talking and I realized that the ground was rapidly approaching. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, and you can't see this in, uh, in, in the recording, or, or yeah, in y'all's point of view or the recording, but, um, I'm using action to record and it has, like, this little FPS box thing, and right now it's, like, in this little, in the time warp corner, and, I mean, I guess, I mean, that's okay, I don't really need that, I mean, it, it just, you know, for KSP, you really need, like, all corners of the game, and so, I really need to find a, I don't know, I really need to actually see how good my game is running or whatnot at times, I don't know, I may just turn that off later, I'm just rambling at this point, but yeah, it, there is gonna be explosions here in a second, so, just to be warned. Oopsie, yeah, I forgot to do that. Oh yeah. Whoopsie. Uh, EVA one more time. One time. Oh yeah, and also I have, uh... I don't know actually why I'm... I, it's just habit, I guess, for me to collect science from mystery goo containers. But, um... Because, you know, it, I it would just... I would have been able to recover it either way. But, um... What was I saying again? Oh my god, I... I am losing my mind. I am losing my mind. But yes, we got... A whopping 37 science from that. Um, that just shows you how good, um, if you, you know, you can make your first, uh, flight if you actually put enough science stuff on there. And, um, I, I know not many people actually put three mystery goos on their, uh, ship or whatnot, but I usually do it the first time like that just because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't really matter that extra, like, uh, weight on the back and the whole air, uh, aerodynamics thing. I mean, especially with just that little solid fuel rocket is, um, it, it's, you know, nothing really. But, uh, yeah, we got m most of the value back from that minus the, uh, f solid rocket booster. But, yes, um, let's, yeah, let's go in to, uh, the, um, into the science Give me all the science. Um, okay, so so yeah, classic two to make to make a ten, and then we could. Uh, no, I. How much science do I have? Oh yes, sorry. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Um, I can unlock one of these. Let's see. Um. I'm kind of wanting to actually go for survivability, just because then I could actually um, hook on uh, the Science Junior um, and actually return it safely and whatnot. Um, just because I know I can't actually uh, return it safely in the next couple of flights, so also that will go... I mean, it's I'm not really getting it for the life support stuff, although that is nice. Um, Alright. And as you could see, uh, as you could see, uh, it 
uh, the notifications and stuff. Hold on. Okay, uh, contract complete. A whole bunch of contracts completed. Alright, um. Yeah. I, trying to, I was trying to find. I keep on forgetting to look up here like, like an idiot. Um. Oh yeah, and here's another thing too is uh the launch pad has to recondition after every flight. Um and uh I, there used to be a glitch on that, but I believe it was fixed. Um but yeah, that's uh basically uh we're going to have to wait for all those to um to unlock basically. And because of this, um you are actually uh I with a if you're playing with a Kerbal construction time um you're usually gonna be um like really far along in the game in the far of like days standpoints because you're gonna have to wait for a lot of um you know for a lot of things um you know with science and whatnot so um and I really like it too because it does I mean because whenever you start off the game usually what you do is you you know do a couple of science things and then usually you know that Duna's transfer windows really not that far um ahead um you know whenever you first start off the game and you know you know all the transfer windows but with K uh Kerbal construction time whenever um whenever you know you get around to the point where you can actually go you know to you know Duna and stuff it you know it's going to be kind of a random um type of uh you know position or whatever you know you know, the planets will just be in a really random um, positions from what you're really normal to. Um, just because, you, um, for like the good test of, you know, for like the career mode that I've um, have, uh, why, why did I exit out from there? Um, the, uh, the, the main career mode I had for testing all these mods and whatnot, um, I didn't even get to like Duna or anything. I, um, I was just, uh, you know, I was just going to, like, Midmus and stuff, uh, trying to get money and whatnot, uh, carrying around tourists and whatnot, and I was already, like, I believe it was, like, 158 days in, or it was close to, like, 200 or something like that, it's something around those numbers, but, um, but, yes, um, this should actually wrap it up for now, um, this, I know this episode is gonna be very, very slow, um, the starting out episode, but, um, for for here on out, um, for the you know episodes coming up, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip uh, I'm gonna skip towards um, uh, you know, oh my god, Ugh. Ugh. anyways, um, what my plan is basically is um for the you know upcoming episodes is basically just trying to. It condense a lot of missions into like a thirty minute or so um ep episode or part or whatever you want to call it but um um like like say um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and skip uh which I can yeah you I'm know, could go ahead and do while I'm talking about this and wrapping up this episode um but yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna um fast forward through any like building uh building thing that um that i need to uh you know that needs to be done and whatnot and also um i'm gonna skip the uh building the ships and i'm just gonna cut straight to uh the ships on the launch pad and uh have you know a nice like little uh text you know telling what the ship is and whatnot and all those goody goody th type things um so yeah, that's uh, that's going to be it for uh, this episode. Uh, if you like it, please give it a like. And if you want to have live updates, please follow me on my Twitter. Links will be down in the down in the description below. Also, uh, links to the mod would also be... Mod, the, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> getting tongue-tied here. Um, links to the uh, mods are also in the description below. But, um, you know, you can find all the mods here. And if I left any out... Um, uh, they will be in the description below, um, you know, if I left anything out and you pointed it out and whatnot. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video.